The Turtle Trader Experiment. Hi, it's Charlie giving you Saturday's video. Now, if you're not aware of the Turtle Trader Experiment, you really should just Google it, look it up. Uh, by all means, get Michael Koval's book, The Complete Turtle Trader, and have a read. It's a great, great read. Um, the Turtle Trader Experiment, just for clarity for anyone who's not aware, and just a very brief overview, was conducted in the early 1980s. Um, two fund managers, um, Richard Dennis and his partner, uh, William Eckhart, I think it was, uh, yeah, um, basically had a bet. Could you take someone off the street, so to speak, and I don't mean literally off the street, but could you take non-trading people and train them to become um, profitable traders? Now, they had a very systematic approach to uh, trend following the markets. They were worth, even back then, $100 million. I think it was back then in the early 80s. So anyway, so they put adverts out in the Wall Street Journal and various other pu publications, interviewed people. They did want to get people from all sorts of different backgrounds, but they all had to have a, a certain level of intelligence, but they did try to get a variety of people onto the program. What was fascinating is that these guys are, you know, were highly successful fund managers worth a huge amount of money, managing a huge amount of money, and they had a system. All they had to do was teach the system to these people, to the turtles. And the turtles were, and this was the experiment. Out of the out of all the people that they took on, uh, easily about fifty percent of them failed. They were all given money to trade with, and fifty percent of them walked or failed at doing it because even that, though they had a defined set of rules and they were taught all the psychology mindset stuff, you know, they were properly supervised. Um, they still couldn't handle it if they had a few losers because by default, that trading system had a lower win rate. I'm going to share something else with you in a second as well. Had a lower win rate by default. I can't remember what the actual success rate was, but let's say it was around the 30% or so mark. So by default, they had a lower win rate. Though that Some of those turtle traders couldn't handle the fact when they had loser after loser in a row, they would then hesitate and then not take those trades that would become the winners. And as a result, if they couldn't stick to it, they either got booted off the plan or they left themselves. But it just goes to show you the power of the mind that even if these people were, were given money from professional fund managers who were worth a, a huge amount, Half of them still couldn't do it. So it just goes to show you the power of the mind. Now, here's something for you as well. So by all means, do read that book because it really, again, just shows you just how powerful the mind is that you, these people still couldn't do that. Here's something for you. I just put um, a poll up on my Twitter feed today. So um, make money from trading every month and gain 10% at the year at the end of the year or make money four months out of 12 and make 20%. So make double the return. It doesn't really matter what the double the returns are. I've just made making that up. But the point is, look, look at the, the number who have said every month. A quarter of the respondents have said, have said they'd rather take the money every month rather than take get twice the gains but be right less often. Just again, shows you the mindset, the mentality towards making money in the markets and how difficult it is. And one of my uh, traders who's an ex-City bond trader himself said, yeah, but I wonder how many of the people that actually said, uh, of, the, of the 76% who said, oh, well, I would I would go for the four out of 12 and the, and the 20%, how many of them in reality would be able to deal with that? So, and that was a good point as well. So a poll's one thing saying, oh, I would go for this, but how it, I'm sure it'd be in reality, a lot less of them would actually be able to handle it. Again, it's a mindset thing. Trading is all mindset. And so uh, that's my 
my theme for the end of the week. So thinking about the power of the mind and how it can corrupt you in your trading if you're not careful. So um, especially when it comes to things like that, do have a read of any material you come across in relation to that uh, turtle trader experiment because again, it, it's a low success rate system that was highly profitable at that time in the 1980s and um, and yet easily 50% of the early early uh, people into that program failed to be able to follow the basic the, essentially the rules because they couldn't handle it from a mindset perspective despite the fact they had all of that um, all of this stuff was handed to them from um, highly wealthy professional fund managers just goes to show you mindsets where it's at thoughts for today on this uh lovely saturday weather day here in the uk i shall leave you to it have a lovely weekend i'll see you next week